This is the Captain 240EX from Deepcool. In my opinion, it's the best looking all-in-one liquid cooler under $100. But does it perform as well as it looks? Let's watch to find out. Please make sure to leave a like, a comment, and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to a full review of the Deep Cool Captain 240EX all-in-one liquid cooler. A couple weeks ago I made an unboxing slash installation video that went pretty well. The installation process was pretty easy, the menu had everything you needed to know, and it came with all the brackets necessary for pretty much every socket type uh, that people are using nowadays, even the older gen ones. It also comes with the cold plate pre-applied with thermal paste and two 120mm static pressure fans to attach to your 240mm radiator. One thing I thought was nice is that it comes with a little badge to stick on your computer case to let everyone know you that you're cooling your PC with this cooler. I think it looks cool. It also comes with a fan hub which is very nice from Deepcool. You don't even see the more expensive coolers coming with these kinds of accessories. Alright, let's get to the actual cooler. So after the installation, when you power it on for the first time, there's about 30 seconds to a minute where the pump makes some noise. That's perfectly normal, it happens with every cooler, and it only happens the first time you power it on. Only the very first time. Every time after that, it makes no noise. When it's on, it's completely silent, even with very power demanding tasks. If it does make noise, your case fans are probably making more. The fans it comes with also don't make much noise, but you will be able to hear them when gaming, editing videos, or doing anything that'll stress out the CPU. It's perfectly normal. On the actual pump, there's a white light with a breathing effect whenever the cooler is powered on. This adds to the great look of the 240EX. Most, if not all, coolers that aren't over $100 have no lighting at all. Not this one. It has a white light, and it does not require an extra connection. On top of that, the actual pump looks crazy good. It has a pipe coming out of it, you can see the liquid flowing. It's a little hard to see though because it's very tinted. Like for every liquid cooler, there will be negative reviews talking about how it leaked and ruined someone's PC. So far I've had no problems with leakage or anything like that that'll immediately kill the computer. The cooler works and all, but I have to admit, I am disappointed with it for the most part. For the price tag of around $80, it's a great option if you're not planning on overclocking your processor. However, I bought the Captain 240EX with plans to overclock my CPU since my old 120mm cooler couldn't handle it. This cooler looks a million times better than that one, but it doesn't perform that much better. It actually performs just about the same, if not worse in some cases. Here are some benchmarks. For all these tests, I used the Intel Core i7-7700K KB Lake processor, not overclocked, it was at 4.2GHz. I used Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste, and the radiator was mounted on the front with a fan set as intake on the NZXT S340 Elite case. And of course, I'm using the fans that come with the cooler. Alright, now with that said, when just sitting in the home screen with nothing running in the background, I saw temperatures of about 39 degrees Celsius. On Cinebench, the temperatures came up to about 80 degrees Celsius, while rendering a 4K video on Adobe Premiere Elements 15, the temperatures went up as high as 88 degrees Celsius while testing. On Unigen Heaven, the temperature hit about 52 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cool, but that benchmark tests the graphics card a little more than the actual processor. While playing Far Cry 4 in 1440p resolution on the high settings preset, the temperature stayed at around 65 degrees Celsius, which is normal. Playing Iron Sight in the highest settings, 70 degrees Celsius was the temperature, and playing Ghost Recon Wildlands at full HD resolution on the very high settings preset, the temperatures were also around 70 degrees Celsius. On all of these tests, the cooler either performed like the old cooler I had, which was half the size of this one, or it performed worse. That's why I've been disappointed with it. I also tried repositioning the pump, just in case I may have installed it incorrectly the first time, but the test results did not change. I did try overclocking the CPU, and when sitting in the home screen with nothing running in the background, the temperatures were in the mid-60s. When I ran Cinebench while the CPU was overclocked, the temperatures skyrocketed to 96 degrees and they were rising, but I cancelled the test before it hit 100 because it would have overheated my processor and bad things could have happened. And the overclock was only up to 4.7 GHz. Normally this processor automatically boosts up to 4.5 GHz when performing intense tasks. 
I've seen and read reviews for this same cooler that were very positive, it's what helped me make the decision to purchase it. But once again, it didn't perform nearly as well as I expected it to. It's still the best looking cooler out there though. In conclusion, for around the $80 price tag that this cooler sells for, I'm not sure if there's a better option, it's hard for me to recommend it, once again because of the performance it's given me. I hope it's just this particular cooler that's bad. Anyway, if you're planning to overclock or even do some heavy gaming, editing and things alike, don't get the Captain 240EX if you plan on using your computer normally with casual gaming, editing, and other normal things without overclocking. This cooler can handle it, but you should also be looking for other coolers because in that case, you would be overpaying for performance you can get for less. That's it for this video. Once again, make sure to leave a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment down below, and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.